Welcome to the show your parents, the PTA and the asleep don't want you to hear. The Helios blog. Today, Kevin Samuels says that men aren't handling women's ish today. If you know what I mean. This should be good. The reason she's alone is because she's difficult. Women are not accepting the bare minimum. Women fuck men they respect. All the women who say things like, I'm strong, independent, I don't need no man, like, y'all impress me. Women just gaslight each other and say what they want to hear. And they're going against the grain of the men? You need to check that shit. They're trying to dirty Mac. They'll be like me coming in and saying, you know, what a lot of people wanted me to come in and do. Oh, yes. You're queen, mother, see most gold, blah, blah. And all this ambiance and all this in a suit telling you everything you wanted to hear. Could y'all imagine what would have happened if I would came in on that? If I would have caught any traction. But the point is, it's not helping you. My question, ladies, if a man is not need, if a man doesn't need to handle you, if you need to handle him, can you do it? Can you handle men today? Can you handle, can you handle the kind of man you say you want? And men of value are masculine. Indeed. But again, girls these days, like, they can't handle. Oh, you want to put a boundary on me? Oh, you're controlling. You're A-word. You're evil. You're mean. You're rude. You're disrespectful. All right. You don't deserve a boyfriend, then. You don't deserve a husband. Whatever their masculine archetype, refined, rakish, rogue, whatever their masculine archetype, they're masculine. And the one thing... Masculine men do not tolerate is masculine women. Indeed. Not in their personal life. In their professional and work life, they may deal with it because they have to. Yep. But I will tell you, there is nothing more of a turnoff or offensive to a masculine man than a masculine woman. Men often dip out on the women they're dealing with seeking femininity. And women don't like that. This is why you think, that's why a lot of women think that they can uh, screw their way back into their men. Yeah. If you're masculine and you're having bedroom fun, 99% chance he's never going to promote you to girlfriend. Never. So what do we got? The Esquire, the GQ, and the Bachelor phase. So think about how many women's response to, I'll keep him at home because I'll put it down on him. No, no. He'll take the, he'll take the increased sexual appetite, but understand something. There's a sexual appetite that the male mind understands, but it still needs to come from a feminine place. A lot of women want to have sex today in a way that maps to the male mind as masculine. That's why I'm going to bring do the video with the sexologist and break have this conversation because I think we need to have a conversation about how we look at sex and all these other things. But at the end of the day, the higher up you go with men, masculinity matters and we sort out. You want to know what kind of man you have? Ladies, put him in a room with men of value and then see what the men of and see what the men in that room think. Sadly, sadly, this is why so many women tend to want the men in the top 10%. And the thing is, only one person is going to get the ring. Only one person is going to get the ring. And if you got to have... Well, here's the thing. Men compete and determine who is the top and women choose from the winners right from the winning pool again if you're competing for one of those guys it's gonna be tough better be feminine have a man in that level then you better do what it takes 
he better do what it takes and it ain't not, and it ain't none of that he got to handle me and he got to do this to do that you better start stop listening to anything that's telling you what you want to hear because ain't nobody trying to reduce their emission standards that's right meta value screen so if you're unattractive again in behavior you're gonna have a bad time recreational use only the men we're talking about are princeton yale harvard hopkins stanford berkeley penn shout out to the higher level hbcus don't know them per se but they and look you just can't take everybody This year, I said it's going to be about self-awareness, separation, and balance. The separation is happening. Shout out to Obsidian. Good fences make good neighbors. No, we ain't all equal. No, there are men that are, are better than me, higher ranked than me, know more than me, and I got a lot of work to do to catch up to them. Indeed. There are men that I outrank. There are men who got work to do to catch up to men on my level. And we all got to get okay with that. And we can't all sit back and say, we all men. No, we are not. Hierarchy, gentlemen. Privates and generals are all in the same. Privates, generals, privates, uh, whatever, admirals. May Lieutenant, sergeant, corporal, marshal. Maybe may in the Army, Navy, Marines, but there is a difference. And the men that I am targeting, talking to, are officers. Officers and gentlemen, shout out. I don't care what branch of the military they're in, they, they come in as officers. Indeed. Now, I don't want to get too far into this, but if I understand, well, anyway, maybe I'll bring some military folks. <laughs> The idea being, if you're, if you have a higher education, you don't enter as a private. You enter as a leader among the soldiers. That's that's what he's, he's trying to say. This is a common common practice in the military. Yes, you can work your way up, but understand something: women want men who have officer-like respect. Well, the, the they eat in the, they have their own living quarters their own barracks, their own food, their separation, especially in the black community. We resist separation. I don't. I resist elitism. I resist thinking that because I'm up here or aspire to be up here, that that means some sort of divine rule. No, 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 no. That's why a lot of stuff we talk about this talented tent and all this other stuff. Well, look, some of those concepts, some parts of the concept are valuable. We need to separate and we also need to work together. That's why you never see me making distinctions between my blue collar and my white collar between average and high value. I just accept the world as the way it is. And ladies, make sure, I mean, gentlemen, understand, make sure women make a distinction. Women make a distinction and they rank men and put... Yup. If you're a plumber, even if you make more than a university degree guy, women think that the university degree guy is better. And that's because a lot of women in 2024, they have university degrees and they think that that makes them superior to men that they're dating. Oh, you're a blue collar worker? Okay, you're a loser. Automatically, they say no. Oh, you have to work out in the rain and the snow? That's not for me. They cut half of the pool of uh, of men with money because they are just uncreative thinkers. Put numbers on men, so you better rank women, put numbers on women, and yep. ladies need to get accustomed to this is the way it's going to be. You got a number on you. What is your number and what everything you do, how does it impact your number? Your weight impacts your number? Yep. Tattoos. Weight, tattoos, end count, age, behavior. Yep. 
piercings. Yup. Uh, add-ons. <laughs> add-ons is funny. <laughs> yeah, don't get plastic surgery, please, girls. Even if you're older, it doesn't make you look better. It just makes you look like Uncanny Valley. Not. It makes you look not human. It doesn't make you look better. You think it makes you look better. Children. Yeah, and a myriad of other... Yeah, children. Mm, no. Other things. So, my question to the ladies before we open it up. If you don't want... If you want men... What kind of man... What level man do you think has to handle a woman? What rank man do you think a man is if he has to handle a woman? Is he a higher ranking male? Is it, is it traditionally a higher ranking male that has to handle a woman? Indeed. If you're a handful, if you're annoying, if the guy has to manage your behavior, you're doing something wrong. He shouldn't have to manage it. You should know what you have to do. And if you don't know what you have to do, what are you even doing? Learn! Feminine, submissive, Bedroom fun loyal with a low end count. These are the things. And lastly, ladies, understand if you're over 27 and you're making over 50,000, if you're over 27 and you're making over $70,000 a year, you got problems. Good luck. That's buy a dog and die alone territory. Because you make almost twice as much as the average woman. And you are danger zone. And you are not going to be. And here's the problem: many women will say they don't want a high value man or this or that, and that's all. That's cap. Women, women, yeah, don't. Women do not want to decrease their comfort, their standard of living, or their lifestyle. Women do not want to decrease their standard of living or their lifestyle. This is why you get so many women wanting to men to level up because they want a man to be able to live at her lifestyle level, do what she likes to do. Here's the funny thing. Many of you ladies can't afford the lifestyle you want, but that's the, that's that's neither here nor there. Indeed. Let's get into it, ladies. Tomorrow night is the birthday show. Tomorrow night I'm doing the birthday show and I'm doing the breakdown. So, uh, tomorrow, prepare to bring your shekels. Where did I hear the shekels? That was from Darius M. That's a good, that's a funny word. So tomorrow, be prepared to do the breakdown. Um, a lot of cool stuff coming up here in Miami. Loving it. Welcome to Miami. Bienvenidos a Miami. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Your godfather Spanish is slowly getting there. When I come here, I realize, man, I really need to learn Spanish. One of the biggest holes in the game is not speaking another language. Just Indeed. Just not a good thing. We'll get there. All right. Yeah, Darius Sim. Yeah. Shekels. <laughs> so Women today. Sorry, I just want this so we can break up the monotony. I apologize for the. One sec, I have to return this on so that it doesn't jump in in the middle of the conversation. That's provided you can work 2,000 hours. How much did you make last year? Mm, around 40. Say it, say it because it makes it real. Around 40,000. Uh huh. That's how much she earned. And what's your highest earning year? Around 60,000. Right. Pretty low. You're a school teacher. 
Yeah, pretty much. Right. High value men don't give a damn about astrology or school teachers. It's true. They they don't care about your career at all. If they care about your income, they're not the kind of guy you want. And if they don't care about your income, it's doubly not important. Your money is a your money forty, sixty thousand dollars, due respect. Not a lot. It's uh what's it called? My money is my money and your money is our money. That's the principle. To these guys. I'm curious if you would see like a woman who has these gifts contributing to her man's money. Like, That's not a thing. For example, my ex-boyfriend would consider your money is a tip. Hmm? Your money, your uh, ma'am. Okay, you said something about a man worrying about her astrology career. I'm going to say it in as nice a way as I can. Your career would be a joke to these guys. <laughs> Well, it's entertainment at best, yeah. So why, okay. You're doing this because, okay, ma'am, you've been able to live this life because you may come from some money and you're cute. But see, if we made you an average woman and we we made you a five, you'd have to get out here and compete. You got first world problems, lady. Why can't the world be the way I want it to be? Because it's not. Indeed. And you're running out of time. You're running out of time because if you want to have a man of a certain caliber, you're going to have to become the kind of woman he wants. And then he's going to want kids. Yeah, so I do see one of my gifts as like my speech and my voice is a gift from God. And so that's why I am using it. Wait, what? You're an astrologer and you believe that you're what you're the crap you're spewing is a gift from god do you not realize that's sacrilegious to make money right now i don't want you're to not, have to use it to make money you're not making a lot of money ma'am right it's eventually i would just like to use it to support my husband your money um, is you don't need to support the kind of guy that you're attracted to support what he wants to do Supporting support. him at home with my voice. I have a very soothing voice. Yes. Okay. What does that have to do with earning money off your astrology crowd? We, yeah, and we prefer it facing the pillow with your ass yes, in the there air. Yes, too. Thank you. See, what you're not seeming to get is you want a significance. Fine. Your significance is to the kind of man you're talking about. Your significance is being his wife. Yeah, your significance is being pretty, being feminine, being there for him, cooking, cleaning, being pleasant, being the the catalyst. It doesn't mean you, that doesn't mean you're, you're you don't exist. But right now you're wasting time. You're cobbling together $40,000 worth of living in Bali. What's the worst that could happen if I partnered with a man who's also making 40000 per year? You won't respect him. Because if you feel that you're equal to him, you feel that you're superior to him. You need a man who earns more than you, not equal to you. Coming from a family, a very well-to-do family, then he's not making forty thousand, right? Uh, your fa- unless uh, does your family you have an inheritance? Yeah. Uh, if they cut you off, that's the they worst. Want well, to see? That's okay. the problem. And see, that's the problem. They should. <laughs> I know they should. They, they should. Yeah, I know they should. They I should because they bec- no, no. They should because all this this shit you're talking about will be become real. What be the worst? Woo crap. Versus partner, you're not a partner. You'd be a mate. See, it's another thing. You want to be a, what do you want? You said, I want a man more focused on money. But you disdain money. But yet, you've never had to live without it, for real. Ridiculous, dumb crap. A person who's literally born with everything and just, it's the prodigal daughter, right? And throws it all away on dumb crap. I disdain the 
yeah, the consequences that first make- world fucking problems. And I'm gonna be honest, women like you, personally, I don't like women like you. I'm gonna tell you why. Because yeah. men have had to go out and civilize the world in general to make the world comfortable enough to where a woman like you can thumb your nose at all the blood, sweat, and tears, clogged arteries, cancer, and everything else. Greater men have had to put you in a position to basically turn your nose up at your family's, uh, your position. The ungrateful. Indeed. Yeah, I'm I'm practicing appreciation more and more every day, calling disaster. Woo woo crop. But my that good. But the point is, this is what we have made people in this country feel guilty about coming for money and having means. Well, if you want to do that, go give all your money away, give all your clothes away, and walk the world like one of the sparrows in in the Game of Thrones. Let's see how, how let's see how long it lasts. How when was the last time you went to the dentist? Um, like six months ago. Okay, right. Imagine if that was the last time you see him because you couldn't afford it. So, have you seen successful relationships with women like me, um, turning up with like a man that comes from a family with lower means, like less money? Have I seen a successful relationship with a man with less money? No, because okay, you're. Enti- I'll give you an example. No, so you mean a man, a man, a meaning a man making less money than you? Yes, but he's way more beautiful than me. <laughs> That's why I said I feel like I'm in a reverse situation. You're in this situation because your family is the ultimate backstop. You you know you have an inheritance. This is why I'm a big fan of cutting women off because they do stupid shit like this. So I'm going to just say something a friend of mine says. Women left to their own devices, more often than not, are set to self-destruct. Listen to this. A woman who comes from means and everything else, her family has put her in a position that most women would dream Kill of. Kill And she's thumbing her nose at it and going purposely to get a beautiful broke motherfucker. Yeah, you're an idiot. I personally find it. I personally find it disgusting. She looks embarrassed. She should be, and nobody in her life has ever told her anything like this. It's what her parents are afraid to tell her because, well, out of love, right? And I wish your father and your family would say, "I love you. I love you, daughter, so much so that I'm going to cut you off. Now, you go out and make something of yourself, and put together, put what you believe to the test." But don't call us when you need anything. So do you think it's wrong for me to invest in this man that I want to be with because he's already got his career started, but he needs a little like a little extra support? Ma'am, he's scamming you. (laughs) How can you invest? Invest what? Money. Money. You don't make any money. Indeed. I have plenty of money, though. No, you don't make any money. The money you invest, the, the, mon- the money you're life. investing in him is from coming from whom? It's coming from my father. Thank you. So, do I think it's right for you to invest your father's money into a man? Fuck no. Okay. Okay. That's a. If your father was hearing you, what do you think your father would say? Um, if we were doing something together. He is he your husband? Me. That's what we're talking about now. No, yeah. is he not your husband? Has, not my he's, husband. No, he's not your husband. And would your father accept this man as your husband? Would, if, would this man go to your father and ask for your hand in marriage? He would. And would your father say yes? Yeah. Your father would accept a man who can't provide for himself, let alone you. Disaster. He would. Support your father would. You your father. Me. Your father would accept a man who can't provide for himself, let alone a wife. He would probably take him in as a son. I asked you a simple question. Your father would accept a man who can, can't can provide for himself, let alone a wife. He can't, no, he would not, but that's not this man. 
This, uh, I never said this man can't provide for me. He, he can. He's making less than you. But I don't need a man to provide. That does not matter, man. Oh my God. See, this is full disaster. So used to money, she thinks it's worthless. The, okay, I'm gonna. Here's what I'm gonna do. You have money, book a session. That's what you do with me, because I'm not gonna sit back and give you any more advice. If you want to spend some money, you, you spend. You pay for my time. Okay. Well, it's my father paying. I don't yeah. give a shit who pays. You're but I'm not doing. I'm not doing it for free, because this shit I'm gonna get paid for. This is, and I'll tell you why I did that, folks. This is what happens when you make people feel guilty about having money. That's why I say you think a you think your father would would yes I, you can't provide for my daughter you can barely provide for yourself but come on in son. It's not what men would do. Men would be like, Jesus Christ, can you find somebody better? Think about everything that has to happen for men or for a family to get to a level to where they're in the upper 10%, top 5%, 3%. And then to think your kids turn and say, oh, this money stuff. Man, if y'all don't get out of here with this bullshit. Yeah. Most people have to struggle and suffer and work and fight and... Only for man. <laughs> it's that's crazy. All right. Let's end the video there. Hit the like, hit the sub, hit all for notifications. Buy my books like Hunter M, Adrian R. Tom and Bobby, Dylan, Renaissance Press, Brian, Andrew, Adam, Armani, and Nicholas. Shout out to you. Most recent purchase of both my books, Strategist Guide to Deduction and Quotes to Live By. Thank you. You can buy my books at bit.ly slash Helios Books. I do also offer coaching services. Just message me at the at gmail.com and I'll slot you right in. That's my email. Thank you so much for listening, guys, especially if you listen to the end. I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time.